ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Pritchard's Proper Vegan Christmas. I am going to be cooking up starters, main, veg, potatoes, and pudding. And it's all going to be running all the way up through to Christmas Day. So please come back to my channel every single day and check out all my new recipes. But to start, everyone needs a good starter on Christmas Day. This, if you've got relatives coming around and you've got your gran and your nan who haven't got any teeth, this is a really good one for them to tuck into because it's soup. And they can just slurp it down their necks. Uh, if you can hear the squeaking in the background, that's Lemmy playing with his new Christmas toy. Uh, so what we're going to make is a roast butternut squash and red pepper soup. It's absolutely simple. It's not hard at all. Get it out of your head. Stop thinking, oh, that's too hard. There's too much to do on Christmas Day. No, it isn't. All we're going to do, we've got the ingredients for you. We've got the squash, we've got the red pepper, we've got carrots, we've got a red onion, garlic, stock. How simple can that be? We're just going to roast all that. We're going to roast it for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. We're going to get it out. We're going to add the stock and we're just going to blitz it and then add coconut milk to it and that's it. Ready to serve, ready to impress your family, ready to impress your friends. My trusty chopper. Everyone's taking the piss. Look at the size of that thing to cut small things. But that's what I like using. I like using this big, huge chopper. We got a squash. Be careful when you're cutting. Cutting it. Because if you slip and cut your fingers off on Christmas Day and there's blood everywhere. Well, well it's not going to go down a treat, is it? Look at that. I like putting these in just like that and then scoop all the fresh out. But it does take longer to cook. If you want it to cook quicker, cut it into quarters and it'll be, and it'll be faster. But first, I need to get those pips out. And here's one that got chucked in just now. Get your, get your spoon, stick them in that lovely flesh and scoop the bad boy out. Right, that's the squash ready to be roasted. This other half, I mean, I'm only feeding my, I'm only feeding myself and the crew behind the camera. So I only need half. This other half I'll use later. So that's my squash prepped. Let's get, if you get a nice roasting tray, stick him on there and just admire him. Carrots. It doesn't matter how you cut them, just roughly cut them. Keep the tails on. Peppers. If you get the peppers and just cut it down like that, so you've got big pieces in it. Now these were the caramelised to this. Get all the black chard bits on there. I know that is flavour. <laughs> oh, eh? <laughs> Always remember to take the labels off your peppers before you put them in to be roasted. Again, depending how many people you're cooking for, is depending on how much, uh, how many peppers, how many carrots you need. Just use your head. I don't do measurements. You shouldn't do measurements. Just go, yeah, just, uh, just use your eyes. Use, use your common sense. Onions, red onion, banging. I love red onion. Red onion is the daddy. Get some of this uh, skin off. Lemmy, bloody hell. Lemmy's going up to that new Christmas toy. Like these are, these are massive red onions. So chop, let me chop into quarters, shove them in there. Father Pritchmas is getting ready to roast. So there we are, we've got all the veg ready and prepped. One last addition, of course, I don't do anything without my garlic. Don't be put off when you say, oh, he's using a whole bloody bulb of garlic. When this gets roasted, it doesn't taste nowhere near as strong as what it does. When you normally cook it, it actually has a really nice taste of roast garlic. It has absolutely banging. All we need is a nice glug of olive oil, not too much. Nice bit of salt, as Ainsley Harriet says, Susie salt and Percy pepper. And yeah, salt, pepper. Now that's ready to go into the oven at gas max 200 for about 30 to 45 minutes. Before you pull it out, make sure that squash flesh is soft. Right, I'll stick it in there. I'll see him in about 30 to 45 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go out play in the snow with Eddie. See you later. Oh. 
normally you should wait for this to cool down to get the flesh out but me i'm starving impatient so i'm gonna try and scoop it out oh look at that flesh look at it Woo like i said if i remembered my little wazin stick this i wouldn't be doing this but of course dick edger mr forgetful forgets absolutely everything so just shove if you haven't got a wazin stick then just do exactly what i'm doing Ho, 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 we're gonna blitz the soup. Get ready for my starter. This is uh, when I prepared earlier. I love saying that. Feels like I'm on Blue Peter. Da, da, da. Give it a little stir. Basically, this is um, vegetable stock. Like I said, I don't really do measurements. You can, see, you can see how much stock is in there. At the end of the day, depending how loose or how thick you want your soup. If you want your soup really thin, then put loads more stock in. If you want it really thick, put little stock in. So just, just use your head. I will just go with that for the time being, and if I need to add more, I can add more. Oh, see how delicate that was? Look at those colors. Woo, speed it up. <laughs> that, that is quite a thick consistency. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. And wise that up. Look at that. The colours and everything. You can if you if you look in there, you can see there's little bits of there's still little bits of onion and stuff like that. Now, if you don't like bits in your soup and you just want it smooth, put it through a strainer uh, and it's smooth up. It personally myself doesn't really bother me. Of course, very important seasoning. Black pepper taste as you go along after now we're just gonna add some coconut cream to the soup not too much I'd say but a tablespoon oh it just makes it silky smooth right now that the soup has been seasoned and we've added the coconut cream to the soup I tasted it tastes nice but don't forget always taste 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 as you go along this is your starter depending on how many people you've got coming around this is going to sort of give them the warning signs are you a good cook or are you a shit cook right let's serve I me mean, i'm using a spoon use a ladle i haven't got a ladle run out look at the color of it tell it's been roasted the taste is good actually soda let's just tip it finish off and get my floppy choice. <laughs> you need a few. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Pritchard's proper vegan roast squash and red pepper soup. Now that is going to be amazing to start your meal and to impress your friends and family. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow because I'll be doing my main. Arriva Turchi, everybody. Ciao for now. Ciao, Bella. Why am I, in, why am I speaking Italian? Do, do not know. Ho, ho, ho.